Frank Oz, the mastermind behind Yoda, has reached the end of his rope when it comes to the woke insanity that continues to plague our culture and society, and uh, he just completely loses it in this absolutely epic tweet that we're going to be checking out here. So be prepared for one of the craziest headlines you have seen in quite some time. Cookie Monster pushes pro-Biden talking points, and the voice of Yoda is pissed off about it. Welcome to politics in 2024. We just live in, in absolutely just wild times right now and 2024 has definitely proven to be the year that has taken the cake when it comes to just how crazy things can get and we are only three months into the year so far but let's get into this because this whole thing is absolutely wild cookie monster is beefing with Fozzie bear over joe biden's crappy economy welcome to politics in 2024 at issue is shrinkflation biden's latest excuse for why everything is more expensive other than his policies making them that way which is really what is actually going on but of course he's not going to bring up that and said he's blaming it on all of the companies so shrinkflation is where companies to stay competitive and not raise prices when every level of production is made more expensive will sometimes make things smaller to keep the sale price the same every level of production is more expensive due to biden's policies if you're anything like me you like to be surrounded by a snack or two while watching the big game you know, when buying snacks for the game, you might have noticed one thing. Sports drinks bottles are smaller. A bag of chips has fewer chips, but they're still charging it just as much. And as an ice cream lover, what makes me the most angry is that ice cream cartons have actually shrunk in size. But of course, you know, Biden isn't going to, you know, take any responsibility for any of this. And uh, it's totally not Biden's fault, guys. Biden is the greatest president we have ever had in the history of the United States, okay? He is the greatest, all right? He knows exactly what he is doing, okay? He th There's nothing that he does wrong. It isn't his fault whatsoever. It is the company's fault. Those big, bad, mean companies, guys. And Biden is going to show them what's what, right? So, Cookie Monster... Over on Twitter, decided to uh, tweet this out. All right, this is what this is what Cookie Monster said. Me hate shrinkflation. Me cookies are getting smaller. With a with a sad face, you know. What is really going on can be summarized pretty perfectly in this single video right here showing Biden taking uh, shots at the entire economy, blowing it up as he continues to do. The White House, literally the White House, is retweeting Cookie Monster <laughs> and saying, C is for consumers getting ripped off. President Biden is calling on companies to put a stop to shrinkflation. Oh my gosh, the, the amount of just stupidity is just ridiculously off the charts it's just i i can't i can't take it some of the small snack companies you won't uh, and think you won't even notice what they're doing uh, when they charge you just as much for the same size bag of potato chips only has a hell of a lot fewer chips in it i'll tell you what i'll tell you who did notice the cookie monster <laughs> he pointed out cookies are, his cookies are getting smaller Paying the same price. <laughs> I was stunned when I found out that's what actually happened. Yeah, I'm sure you were stunned. I'm sure that that was not a coordinated thing at all, right? Right, Biden? That was not a coordinated thing at all between you and, and Cookie Monster and the White House and all of that. I'm sure that that had nothing to do with it at all. Do you guys actually believe what he's saying here? I know that I know, okay? I, I don't believe he is shocked for a single moment. For some reason, they continue to use the Sesame Street characters to push all sorts of weird agendas, and it's absolutely ridiculous. But someone who has had enough of a lot of that and has finally snapped and reached the end of his rope when it comes to all of this BS is Frank Oz himself, all right? One person not amused outside of the tens of millions of Americans rolling their eyes as they see their childhood get politicized is Frank Oz. The voice of Yoda and Fozzie Bear thought it was great and could think of one other person who would agree with him, Jim Henson. So this is what he said in response directly to the Cookie Monster. I'm shocked to see a news article on Cookie Monster talking about shrinkflation. Jim would never have allowed this. The Sesame Street Muppets need to live in their own pure world, not our world. What has happened to the integrity of the character in the integrity of Sesame Workshop? That right there is such a great tweet. Things are getting so stupid that now we have people like Frank Oz who has started to actually speak up about it and talk about how just ridiculously BS all of this is. So while this entire story feels like something that would be right out of a cartoon, this whole thing is actually real, but people just need to just need to just stop following 
meddling for Biden's lies. That's really what it boils down to at the end of the day. And Hollywood needs to stop meddling with with uh, with the government and with Democrats, but they're not going to stop that anytime soon. So with that being said, let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you all in another video very soon.